Hi guys. Smarty here. From the channel Smarty Stranger. Previously, we published a video about conversion of electrical diagram into a PLC program. If you have not seen our previous video, then go to our channel. Smarty Stranger. And take a look on this video. Today we will learn about. How can we convert any algebraic expression into a PLC program? Remember the basic symbols. Normally open contact. Normally close contact. And coil. Let's start with a simple example. Here, we can see, there are two inputs and one output. And a plus sign means this combination of inputs must be in or logic. If we convert it in a PLC program. It will be look like this. When any or all of its inputs are high. Output will be high. When any of its input is low. Output remains high. For output to be low. All inputs must be low. Consider another example. Equation is showing that. There are four inputs and one output. Output will be high. If equation fulfill the requirement. Guys we can simplify it. But this is another topic. Here we are on beginner level. That's why we will deal with this equation without any simplification. Let's draw it on a programming page. And try to check its behavior via live simulation. First make some tags for inputs and output. Here you can see that we have made 4 inputs and 1 output tag. In our example, you can see that. There are two portions of equation. Ok, first we insert inputs for first portion. Insert three normally open contacts. And an output. Since there is an or logic between two parts. That's why, insert inputs of second part in parallel. Ok now we'll attach tags. In first portion we have three inputs. A and B and C. In second portion, we also have three inputs, A and C and D. Save the program. Download into simulator. Click on run simulator button. Monitor on. Check. When we give a high signal to input A. Its related contacts start showing healthy status. When we give a high signal to input B. Its related contacts start showing healthy status. Now when we give a high signal to input C output Y energized. By de-energizing input C output Y also de-energized. Now again energize input C from second portion of equation. You can see that output energize again. Now we de-energize all inputs to test second part of equation. Give a high signal to all inputs A, C, and D output energized. Guys you can see that. Output could be energized via both parts of equation. So, guys you see how simple is this. Consider another example. This example is more complicated than previous one. Equation is showing that. There are four inputs and one output. Here you see, something different. Yes a small line on some inputs. Actually it is an invert symbol. Means when this symbol appears on any input. Then this input must be invert. Let's draw it on programming page. And try to check its behavior via live simulation. Listen guys. We can also simplify this equation. It depends on programmer. How he designed it. Since here we are on beginner level. That's why we will convert it without any simplification. Guys here we are dividing equation in three parts. Our purpose is to show you the different patterns to make a logic. It all depends on you. How you design your logic. Simple or difficult. Make some tags for inputs and output. 
Here we will also make some memory flags for outputs. Ok now we will make logic for three portions of equation. Let's us make logic for portion 1. Insert two normally open contacts and one normally close contact. Insert an output coil. Attach tags. In first part of equation. You can see there are three inputs. So we are assigning addresses for three inputs. Assign a memory tag for output. Now we will make logic for second portion in network 2. Insert three normally open contacts and a coil. In second part of equation. You can see there are also three inputs. So we are assigning addresses for three inputs. Assign a memory tag for output. In network 3 insert two normally close contacts. And a coil. Since in third part of equation. You can see there are only two inputs. Assign tags to inputs. Assign a memory tag for output. Ok now. See in our example, there is or logic between three parts. That's why, insert three contacts in parallel. And a coil for final output. Attach the output memory tags with these contacts. Save the program. Download into PLC. Check in network 3, we have used two normally close contacts. That's why, output X3 is energized. Which is energizing our final output Y. Ok now we will give a high signal to input A. Its related contact is energized. You see here in network 3. Output X3 is de-energized. Because here we have used normally close contact. When we give a high signal to input A. It becomes close contact in network 1. But in network 3 it becomes open. When we give a low signal to input A. In network 1 it becomes open. And in network 3 it becomes close again. Output Y again energized. Ok now in network 1. Give a high signal to inputs A and C output X1 energized. Which also energized output Y in network 4. Now give a low signal to inputs A and C output X1 to energized. And X3 is energized again. Ok check now we are giving high signals to inputs in network 2. Output X2 energized. And now output Y is energized due to output X2. Check when we give a low signal to input D in network 2. Output X2 to energized and output X3 energized again. Ok now check in network 3. When we give a high signal on input A output X3 to energized. When we give a low signal on input A output X3 energized again. Because here we are using normally close contacts. And normally close contact gives a high signal in normal condition. And when we press a button or give a high signal on it. It becomes open. So guys. You see how can we convert any equation into a PLC program. Again we are telling you that it depends on programmer, how he make a program. And how he plays with instructions. If you have any confusion, or want any information about automation. Please leave a comment. We will try to give you the solution of your problem. For more informative videos. Stay on channel. Keep watching our videos. Thanks for watching.